Hello everybody, welcome to another Phase 5 Phonics Mastery Session. To help you to take part in today's learning, you're going to need a piece of lined paper and a pencil. Can you pause the video so that you can get the resources that you need and then click play when you're ready. Are you ready? We're going to start by recalling all of the sounds that we have learnt so far. Can you tell me each sound? as clearly as you can. Remember, this is a soft h, not h, as that would be adding a schwa on the end. This is the digraph that we remastered yesterday. Do you remember that we said this digraph is usually, almost always, found at the end of a word? This digraph can make two sounds, oo and you. This digraph can make two sounds, oo and you. This split digraph can make two sounds, oo and you. Well done everybody. We're going to read some common exception words now. These are words that we read and write a lot. Remember, look out for those phonic clues to help you, but watch out for those tricky parts. If you need a bit more thinking time, just pause the video and then when you're ready you can click play. Do you remember this one? This one is could. It is time for the common exception word quiz. Today we are going to spell the homophones there and there. Now, the first one I would like you to spell is the there that is telling us about where something is. There, telling us about something being somewhere.
the second there I would like you to write underneath is the possessive there. The there we write when something belongs to somebody. Let's check our spellings. This was the first there. And this is the possessive there. Let's read these two sentences. Sentence one. There are some swings in the park. Look at that spelling of there. Sentence two. There are some swings in the park. Notice that spelling of there. Now, which spelling of there is correct? In this sentence, we're using the word there to tell us about where something is. About something being somewhere. So which one is the correct spelling? The first sentence has the correct spelling of there. Can you see the word here in the word there? We can use us that to help us to remember that this is the there about where something is. It can be here or there. We are going to master another phase five sound today. Shall we find out what it is? Ah, it is the digraph E. Can you see the two letters that make up this digraph? Do you know which letter families they belong to? The E is a curly caterpillar letter and the Y is a long ladder letter. It descends under the line. Now, we're going to practice forming these letters in the air before we practice it on our paper. So put your finger on the green dot of the E and we're going to make a big one. Ready? Follow me. Up, around and down. Let's do that one more time. Finger on the green dot. Up, around and down. Okay, now let's do the Y. This is a long ladder letter. So put your finger on the green dot in the air. Down, up, down, under the line and flick. Excellent. Let's do that Y one more time. Start on the green dot. Down, up, down, under the line and flick. Excellent. Now, can you get your piece of lined paper and your pencil? And let's practice forming these letters together. Ready? We'll do the E first. Follow me. Up, around and down. Is it sitting on the line? Now the Y. Ready? Down, up, down, under the line and flick. Are your E and Y both the same height? And does your Y descend under the line? Brilliant. Now, pause the video and practice forming this digraph for one minute and then click play once you've done so. Well done for practicing forming that digraph. Now, I wonder, can you think of any other grapheme representations for the phoneme E? Can you think of any other ways that E is sometimes spelt? in a word. Pause the video and write down your answers and then click play once you're ready. There are lots of different graphemes that represent the phoneme E. Did you think of any of these ones in the red box? It's time for us to practice reading some E words. But before we do, with your finger, can you underline the EY digraph in each of these words? 
I would like you to notice the position of it in each word. The E digraph that's spelt with an E and Y is quite often found at the end of a word. Pause the video and read each word and then click play once you've read them. The first word is key, the next is hockey, then kidney, alley, that's a narrow passage, monkey and chutney, that's a sauce that's made from fruit, vegetables, sugar and spices. Let's practice spelling some E words. Remember, this digraph is usually found at the end of a word. What is that in the first picture? They are key rings. There is more than one key ring. So we need to write the plural of key ring, which is key rings with an S on the end. Let's stretch out the word key rings. K -E R -e -ng -s key rings and put it on our phoning fingers. K -e -r -e -ng -s key rings. How many phonemes are in that word? Can you write it down? Key rings. What is that in the second picture? It is one donkey. Can you write the word donkey? Now, look at the final picture. That is somebody riding a horse in races. Sometimes people do that as a profession. Do you know what it's called if you ride horses in races? You are a jockey. Jockey. Can you write the words jockey? I'll give you a clue. It does have the digraph k in it as well. We're going to tick or fix our spellings now, but if you're not ready, just click pause and then click play once you are ready. Can you tick or fix each of your spellings? I am so impressed with your practicing. So let's apply our learning. We're going to write a sentence about this picture. I'm going to say the sentence and the first thing I want you to do is listen out for any common exception words. Are you ready? Three jockeys went out on their donkeys so they could trot on the track. I heard the common exception word there in that sentence and I was thinking about which spelling of there I would need. It's talking about their ownership of the donkeys. So which spelling of there would it be? Hmm. Now, let's learn this sentence before we write it. My turn first. Three jockeys went out on their donkeys so they could trot on the track. Your turn. My turn. Three jockeys went out on their donkeys so they could trot on the track. Your turn. My turn. Three jockeys went out on their donkeys so they could trot on the track. 
14 words. Your turn. Pause the video and write it down, then click play once you've finished. Excellent effort. Now, tick or fix each word that you have written. Did you remember a capital letter for three at the beginning of your sentence? The words jockeys and donkeys has our EY digraph in them. We've also got the possessive there in this sentence as well, haven't we? Well done for joining me for phonics today. I am so pleased that you have mastered the digraph E with me. Well done.